For the eight teams racing 2,400 miles the hard way, from Monterey, California to Honolulu, it was the ultimate endurance challenge. I will see you from 10 kilometers in Hawaii. For Louis Bird and his rowing partner, Erden Iruch, a veteran of three ocean crossings, it was more of a memorial tribute to Louis' father, Peter Bird, the first person to row across the Pacific solo from San Francisco to Australia in 1982. I just have to have another glass of water and celebrate my 180th day at sea and my birthday. On a second attempt in 1996, in the opposite direction to San Francisco, he disappeared at sea. And the boat was found without any trace of my father, and I was five years old at the time. I carry his boat on my, on my forearm. For nearly two months, he and his partner have been taking turns, rowing two hours on, two hours off, 24-7. The most difficult part, getting off the California coast until they could catch the more favorable winds and currents that would push them on to Hawaii. I'm not a rower and my technique's poor, but I feel like the genes are in there. I'm, you know, I feel, I feel strong. That doesn't worry me. It's, it's, uh, it's, in, it's in here. It's the sleep deprivation and it's the constant sun and it's the elements. Two of the eight teams dropped out for medical reasons. One of them had to be rescued by a Coast Guard helicopter during the first two weeks of their adventure. Three teams with larger crews and different boats reached the finish two weeks ahead of them, but winning was never the objective for Team Sons of the Pacific. The only place I'll ever feel close to Peter Bird is out there in the, in the Pacific Ocean, and I'm aware of that. I'd like to feel closer to him. I'd like to get an understanding, as basic as it may be, of what he went through at certain points in his life. And you never know, if it brings a sense of closure, then that's great. After 54 days at sea and skirting four hurricanes, the Sons of the Pacific reached the finish line off of Oahu's Diamond Head. Yeah! There was a lot of, you know, people didn't quite believe I'd be able to do it, quite rightly so. And I've proven that I can, and here we are. This is Mike Saray for Globe TV.